Okay, today's lesson 216 has to do with relating scale drawings to ratios and rates. So scale drawings, this is, this is new. And as you can see, um, it's in the textbook, chapter seven, um, five, which is in your B book, which I wrote on your notes. So you need to have your lesson video 16 notes out. It's in the B book, which you don't have. You have the A book right now. Scale drawings is a new topic, but relating it to ratios and rates, well, we've been doing ratios and rates. Um, this very first image that you see on the screen, you don't have on your worksheet, but I'm sure that you can guess, and we'll talk about this in class when you come in tomorrow, um, can you guess what this image is here in number one? Take a guess. Number two, we'll talk about this tomorrow. Can you guess what that image is? I'm sure you all know what that is. So on to the first example. Um, for the following problems, A is the actual picture. B is the scale drawing. So this is the actual. This is the scale drawing or the new drawing that they have. Is the scale drawing an enlargement or a reduction of the actual picture? Well, you can see that it gets bigger. This is an enlargement. And number two, A is the actual, this is the actual, and B is the scale drawing. So you can see that this ruler or measurement system, whatever it is, has been shrunk down. So this is a reduction. So we're going to talk about enlarging and reducing things, which in eighth grade, this will look like dilation, transforming ideas called dilation. So a key idea, scale drawing is a reduced or enlarged two-dimensional drawing of an original two-dimensional drawing. So not 3D, 2D. So on to example two, which you have on the first page, page there. Derek's family took a day trip to a modern public garden. Derek looked at his map of the park that was a reduction of the map located at the garden entrance. The dots represent the placement of rare plants. The diagram below is the top view as Derek held his map while looking at the posted map. So point A, which is his, how he's holding it, he's obviously hold, it's not oriented the same way. So this is Derek holding the map. This is the actual map that he's looking at. And he has it upside down. Maybe you couldn't tell that, but he has the, he's holding the paper upside down. So in order to correspond what point goes to what point, you really should be looking at the map in the correct orientation. So you could literally right now turn your paper upside down and you could see, because um, Derek's holding it upside down, Derek would have to literally turn this upside down in order to really see how they are um, are, how they are corresponding. Corresponding means they're matching points. So point A, if you turn the paper upside down, goes along with point R here. A, which is up there, really is down here. So point A goes to point R. Point V, if you look at point V, turn it upside down, that's up here with W. Point H, Flip it around, point H is over here with P. And last one, point Y obviously goes to point N. And the easiest, again, the easiest way to do that is to literally turn your paper 180 degrees. Example three, Celeste drew an outline of a building for the diagram that she was making and then drew a second one mimicking her original drawing. So this is the original. This is the scale drawing. State the coordinates of the vertices and fill in the table. State the coordinates. So that means tell me the x, y pair. OK. So my original, this coordinate is the point seven zero. This point here has coordinates of 13, 0 x equals 13, y equals 0. This has coordinates of 13, 18. And this point up here is at 7, 18. So we're filling in. 
Now the scale drawing, obviously it's a reduction and she shrunk it down. Um, let's see, this point is 10, zero. This point is seven, zero. Point up here on the upper left is nine, I'm sorry, seven, nine. And the point on the upper right is 10, nine. So the original drawing has a height from zero to 18 is 18 units. And that's the units of the graph paper. And I believe I wrote this on your notes already. Units of the graph paper. I don't know if they're centimeters, feet, yards, miles. <coughs> Excuse me. You'd have to look. Sometimes the graph paper will say one little box equals one centimeter. So you have to look on the graph paper. So I don't know it because it's not labeled. Uh, my height of my original drawing is 18 units long and my length here is seven units across. My new drawing has a height of nine units and a length of three units. So, some notes, something that I know. I know the second image is a reduction. I know that. I know the pairs of corresponding lengths are proportional. So length to length, height to height, corresponding lengths, that's what that means. They're in proportion, they're equal ratios are proportional. The original drawing is twice as big as the reduction, the image. Proportional. Yep. So um, they are in proportion. And the constant of proportionality, the K, now I'm just going to write K for short, the constant of proportionality is one half. Why is it one half? Why isn't it two over one? Because the constant of proportionality is always your scaled drawing, the image, over the original. And if I put my lengths in, my scaled drawing is 3 over the original, which is 6 units. If I put the heights in, my scaled drawing is 9 over 18, and they all equal 1 half. They're in a 1 to 2 ratio. So my K constant of proportionality is 1 to 2. Last example here. Uh, Luca drew and cut out small right triangles for a mosaic piece that he was creating for art class. His mother really took a liking and asked if he could create a larger one for their living room, and Luca made a second template for his triangle piece. So, we've got to figure out, does a constant of proportionality exist? If so, what is it? If not, explain. So, I'm going to find the lengths of the original. So, this is the original and this is the scale drawing. Okay, so the lengths of the original image. So I'm going to say there's a base here, goes from 5 to 8, so this base is 3 units, and this height here is 5 units. So it's a 3 by 5 uh, right triangle there. And the New image, the second image, which is the scale drawing, has a base of 10 units and a height of 15 units. Well, these don't look like they're proportional to me because 15 is scaled over the, the original, 15 fifths scaled over the original has to equal the scaled over the original, does not equal 10 thirds. These do not equal each other. So. Does a constant of proportionality exist? No. The ratios are not constant, so you can't have a constant of proportionality. The ratios are not constant. Um, so it does not have a constant of proportionality. They are not proportional to each other. Is Luca's enlarged mosaic triangle scale drawing, that triangle of the first image, is it a scale drawing of it? No. If this was nine, if this was nine units high, only not or nine units in length, if this only went to 14 here, this was only nine, then that would work. 
If it went 9 to 14, that would be a scale image. Nine to, ooh, I have to go up to 15. 9 to 15. Take that back. So it's not. Is Luca's enlarged mosaic a scale drawing of his first image? No. In order for it to be a scale drawing, it has to be proportional. Not all the side lengths are proportional. And we're going to talk more about this in class tomorrow when you get here, talking more about scale drawings. And that's it for today.